Delhi's Rouse Avenue Court has uh, reserved its order in the ED's uh, application for extension of remand of Arvind Kejriwal. Let's listen in to Advocate Ramesh Gupta speaking. I understand that today's day was enough to say so much. Okay. Sir, so, ED has said that what Arvind Kejriwal has done in the submissions of the electoral bonds, that case is relevant or not. Now, you are also following this case. You are relevant or not. If you are accused of this case, and you will remember that six days ago, when the ASG has said that if the company कंपनी कोई पार्टी भी अगर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी भी इन्वॉल्व होती है तो वो भी कंपनी मानी जाएगी और वो भी एक्यूज बन सकती है तो अगर आम आदमी पार्टी एक्यूज बन सकता है तो बीजेपी भी एक्यूज बन सकती है अगर बीजेपी को उसी एक्यूज ने जिसकी बेल हुई उसने 50 करोड़ दे रखे हैं तो वो किस चीज में आएंगे ये तो आप लोगों को तय करना है मैं तो जब कोर्ट में केस आएगा जब देखेंगे पर आप को खुद मालूम होना चाहिए कि वो पैसे किस बात के दिए थे उसने अच्छा एक बात छेदी ने कुछ पेश किया कि छेद्र में क्या क्या पूछ रहे हैं क्या क्या निकल के सामने आया नहीं ईडी ने इस बारे में कुछ नहीं बताया कि छह दिन में क्या हुआ ये उन्होंने कहा कि आगे हमने क्या करना है उस बारे में उन्होंने रिमांड मांगा एक बात और कही केजरीवाल जी ने कि गवाहों से जबरदस्ती डरा धमका कर ईडी ने दबाव बनाकर बयान लिया लेकिन ईडी कह रही है कि ये तो � Okay, so that was advocate Ramesh Gupta who was uh, speaking outside the court premises. Remember that uh, the court has currently reserved the order in ED's application seeking extension of uh, remand of Arvind Kejriwal. Arvind Kejriwal, in fact, has spoken in court today and he said that. Uh, Certain accused were forced to name him in their statements. How is it that on the basis of just four statements, he was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate? He in fact said that it was the ED's mission to arrest him. Arvind Kejriwal has made some very serious charges. He said that I'm not objecting to cooperating with the investigating agency or to the remand, but this is what Arvind Kejriwal said. He says that the accused gave... 55 crore rupees bond money, electoral bond money to the BJP. Remember, this is a charge that the Aam Admi Party has already made against one of the accused in this case, Sharath Reddy. And now, Arvind Kejriwal saying the same in court as well. Here's how the BJP has reacted to what Kejriwal has said in court. Well, he has all the right to defend himself, but they are not above law. They are not above the constitution. The country, uh, the way the Aam Party Party people were just now saying that we have gone house to house, we have spoken to people, and that people mandated that uh, uh, Arun Kejriwal should operate from the uh, jail. I mean, this is ridiculing the mandate of the people. I mean, we are virtually mocking the mandate of the people. And, and then, if that is so, let them go for the fresh election. They, let, let them seek a mandate on saying that uh, vote for Arun Kejriwal, he's in jail. And then let people decide whether they want to vote for a man who did from jail, who's, who's uh, in, uh, deep into corruption. So let let people decide on it. A man who gives one bottle free with one bottle, let people decide on it. Not not saying that we did some survey, we did some mandate. And BJP National Spokesperson Mr. Nalan Kohli is now joining us over the phone line. Mr. Kohli, how do you respond to what Arvind Kejriwal said in court today? He said, just on the basis of four statements, the Enforcement Directorate has proceeded to arrest him and some of these accused, he's of course referring to Sharath Reddy and Aurobindo Farmer, paid electoral bond money to the BJP, 55 crores. How can their word be trusted? Political drama, wild allegations, Confirmation of Mr. Kejriwal's typical politics of spit and run. Typical of Mr. Kejriwal. Even involve his family members in his brand of accusation and also the nature of his politics. Get the wife to come out with a set of allegations. Then you stand in court and instead of using it or arguing on your petition, try to make a political speech. If Mr. Kejriwal believes... And as a practicing lawyer, I'd like to say that. 
Mr. Kejriwal is incorrectly believing that his political speeches are going to be the basis of him being able to get a court to pass an order on law. Law will go based on the statute, which is the PMLA, based on the materials that the Enforcement Directorate or the Investigative Agency will present. And Mr. Kejriwal has to challenge it on legal grounds, not political arguments. Mr. Kejriwal perhaps now is confirming to the public, or not only of Delhi, but of the country, that he has nothing credible to say with regard to the liquor scam in Delhi. That is why he has chosen not to respond to eight summons in the past, each time on a flimsy excuse. I am in Vipassana, I am campaigning, I am busy, I will come next time. These summons are illegal. That is the crux of it. And today, wild allegations, fit and run. The question that he which has to be asked is, then why is Mr. Marie Sisodia and Mr. Satendra Jain two of his most trusted and most powerful colleagues who were ministers under him working on his direction, Mr. Kejriwal being the chief minister, why are they in jail, not getting bail? Their matters have gone up to no less than the Honorable Supreme Court of India, yet they are in jail, not getting bail. Every time the enforcement directorate shows the material it has, somewhere or the other the courts are seeing that there is some credible material. Now, Mr. Kejriwal has to first answer a question. Did he order them to do so? And that's why they went ahead with the policy which led to a scam? Or he was unaware, which means he's incompetent to govern. Either way, Mr. Kejriwal is stuck between a devil and a deep blue sea. And that's why, because he has no credible answers, he's now resorting to this spit and run politics of allegations. So what if he's he basically saying speech, is that this investigation is, is out to create a sort of smoke screen to malign the Aam Aadmi Party, to crush the Aam Aadmi Party. Then where is his answer on the scam? Why for so many months he was running away from it? Every time you would ask Mr. Kejriwal a question, which is the media would ask him, he would answer on another topic. He is the type of man, if you will ask him what is the directions from Delhi to Chandigarh, he will speak about the weather in Mauritius and then speak about the health conditions in say, Tamil Nadu. He has an answer and a view on everything except the questions that are asked of him. On the liquor scam and the excise scam, where are Mr. Kejriwal's clear answers on the following? Was the procedure followed? Yes or no? If no, then why wasn't it followed? If no, then who's the beneficiary? Three, the beneficiaries are saying that they were involved. That's what the media is reporting. Then why did the beneficiaries suddenly get these benefits? So, Mr. K why was money written away by Mr. Manish Sisodia, as I've read in the media, about the terms of those who deposited money in the name of uh, uh, COVID, etc.? Was there a policy decision on that? Look at other things of Mr. Kejriwal. I will not take a house, but then he takes a government house, then he starts building a shish mahal, a huge building, tries to do away with all the laws related to that construction by keeping the tender amounts lower, approval amounts lower, I will not take a car now he has a car. So Mr. Kejriwal is a man of U-turn. Mr. Kejriwal is a man who can say anything at any point of time except the truth and except answer a straight question with a straight answer. Mr. Kohli, thank you so much for speaking with India Today.